Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day, and it's Psalms 51 2. Wash me throughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And then Jesus Christ came and died for our sin. And when you believe in him, you're washed. White as snow. Now on to the signs, right where Jesus Christ said they would be. In the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. And real quick, before we go over what looks like the dragon swinging its tail and causing a third part of the stars to fall into the earth, I showed you sunspot 3414 in Strong's, the definition is Yah, and it's disappeared like we're about to do. When we're caught up, in all glory to our father, Daniel reached out and he showed me in Strong's 3413, the definition is Michael, the archangel. So keep your eyes on sunspot 3413. It should be earth facing in the next couple days. Now we'll go over the comet Nishimura that was just discovered on 811 by Hideo Nishimura. And Hideo means excellent male child. And Nishimura means to go west. And as you can see right here, it says the comet is falling toward the sun for a close encounter on September 13th. And I'm going to go over that with you real quick. It's gigantinormous. And this picture was taken yesterday, and they're saying that they found that it has grown a one degree long tail. And it looks long. And it also says, and get this, since it was discovered on August 11th, the comet Nishimura has more than tripled in brightness. And it literally says a sign that is feeling the heat of the approaching sun. And the signs will be in the sun, family. And they are. And it says its green head now shines like an eighth magnitude star. And it looks green to me. And green means go. But here's what's gigantinormous. As you might guess, comets can change color as they get closer or further from the sun. Comets change color. Now, real quick, the Revelation 12 sign. Revelation 12, verse 1, we got the woman clothed with the sun, the moon's under her feet, with Yeshua and Miriam and Leah Marie and Laban and Israel and the wise men Caspar and the comet Hideo Nishimura and they all stand for birth family and the crown of 12 stars is there. There's 12 Virginie stars on her head. And the 12 stars obviously represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Verse 2, And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And the child is there, right next to the United Nations. And the United Nations represent the dragon. But I just realized it's not the dragon. And remember, 666 represents the beast. And it's right next to the asteroid Israel. So if the United Nations isn't the dragon and it's just representing the dragon, then where's the dragon? Well, first off, remember, the enemy, he's a copycat, a counterfeit. When the rapture happens and the seven-year tribulation starts after the tribulation that we're in right now, then the enemy jumps on the scene and says that he's God. The copycat, the counterfeit. So as I'm looking at this sign, while I was editing yesterday's video, it hit me. Why is there an asteroid named Child in a comet that was discovered by Hydeo that means male child? So I was wondering why there's two children in the picture. And this looks like what we've all been waiting for. Verse 3, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered to devour her child as soon as it was born. And when you go to English Standard Version, Verse 4 says, his tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. 
So I went into Stellarium and I zoomed in and I started going through the days. And right there, you can see the comet actually starts growing and getting bigger. And you can see the dot very clearly right in the scope. And as it goes through what they call the sickle, the backwards question mark, the head of what they call Leo, the lion, you can see the tail growing and it getting bigger. And when you get to September 13th and you start going through the hours, you can literally see this comet dodging every star, every asteroid, and it's whipping its tail around, as you can see. And when it gets to the star right here, which is the tail of the lion right there, you can see it's the star Denebola. And I'll zoom in some more so you can see how big this tail is. And remember, no one can limit God. And I just showed you that comets change color. So this comet can turn red and it can be the great red dragon in Revelation 12. And it looks like it is, family. I'll show you right now. As you go through the hours, let me back it up a little bit. So you can see that the tail starts swinging and it starts flying sideways, this comet, as it goes by the tail of what they call the lion, Leo. It literally swipes this star with its tail. And I'll go through the minutes and show you. And that's on September 14th. So keep your heads up and expect something big to happen on September 14th. It's right there written in the stars, family. And as you keep going, you can see it straightens back out. And I'll zoom back out for you. When you get to the 15th, and I'll zoom out, you could see it's already past the woman's crown. And remember, it's flying at like light speed. And if you look at the direct path, it's headed directly for the asteroid child. And the dragon stood before the woman to devour the child as soon as it was born. And remember, the asteroid child crosses the line and comes out of her womb, it looks like, on 915. The expected Rosh Hashanah Feast of Trumpets Yom Teruah date. And again, this comet is headed directly for the asteroid child. As you go through the days, you could see it heading straight for child. A direct line straight to child. And here's where it gets extremely gigantinormous. Because verse 4, his tail drew the third part of the stars and did cast them to the earth, is exactly what it looks like happens right here, family. As you go through the days, you could see it busts the left, goes into the woman and out of the woman. And I'll back that up. And I'll zoom in. So you could see the blue and yellow tail. And I'll go through the hours. And you could see that this comet is dodging all the stars and it's whipping its tail all the way around missing everything remember it goes into the box of the woman on the 20th right there and as you go through the hours, it's still whipping its tail and missing everything. Barely missed that asteroid. And remember, on the 22nd is when it goes past the line out of the woman, and it's spinning in a circle, whipping its tail, swinging its tail. And as soon as it crosses that line, that's when it starts hitting and going across all the asteroids in the vicinity. And it looks like it goes right between 
the asteroid Israel and the asteroid 666 right past almost hits the asteroid Solomon. And right there, right after it goes past the line, you could see it's still swinging its tail right through all of these asteroids. And what's so gigantinormous about that? When you put on the landscape and you zoom out, you could see that it's headed straight for the Earth and it's swinging its tail, hitting these asteroids. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the Earth. As soon as it passes the line on September 22nd, and by September 23rd, that's what it looks like. And hopefully we'll be caught up before that. And it's not my job to tell anyone when the rapture is going to happen. Not the day, not the hour. I will not do it. My job is to point out the signs, the dates that they happen, where they happen. And watch. And I love you. And I want you to know, I actually, you already know, we're going home. <laughs>